The city of Charleston received more than $21 million from the federal government following the pandemic. Now they're set to assign whatever money is left over to several projects. Ray Urena joins us live off of Lee Street near Martin Park and Ray, some of that money is going to go towards what's on the ground floor of the apartment building there behind you. Yeah, absolutely, Ralph. I'm going to take you right here. This is the James Lewis Apartments here on the corner of Lee and Hanover Street. Up top, you have some affordable housing, but it's what's on the ground floor that's going to be impacting businesses. That's going to be some shared space for businesses, especially catered to women and minority-owned businesses that's scheduled to open later next year. Now, City Council will vote to allocate the remaining $4.5 million it has in pandemic relief dollars at tomorrow meeting. It will go toward building a new Hope Center. This is a service offered to those experiencing homelessness to help get them out of those situations. It will also help pay for a bridge replacement over Beresford Creek on Daniel Island. Cities like Charleston had until late next year to assign the relief money and until 2026 to spend it. The mayor says these dollars help pay employees and cover lost income due to less hospitality funding during the pandemic. And, at, and as for the future, the mayor says that this money, like I just mentioned, it, it helped very much during the pandemic. It gave them a boost saying that the money came at the right time during the pandemic to be able to offset and as a comfort. But now as they move into the future, he says that the city has about 25 percent of its budget saved up, which is about 65 or so million dollars. And they have that set aside for a rainy day. Plus, he also says that they have extra grant money and they apply for extra grant money to offset some of the costs that some of these projects do take. Live in Charleston, Ray Arena, Live 5 News. Also included in the request, $100,000 to help create a new comprehensive plan for Union Pier following its pause that was announced last month. Two